And so it is that we gather here today to say farewell to Guy Hubble, a man who has served this nation all his life. I want you to know I've never done anything like this before. Mum, look, just try a little. You might like it. Come on. I, I, I don't want it! Oh, Mum, please. Oh, get away from me. Sorry to have kept you. Now then, it was just three for the nightmare room. Ah, right, the news conference is delayed. I should start in about ten minutes, but it could slide. Can you get that? Hello, news so, desk. you'll take the news conference, then it's Pete live off the back. George. Hang on. George, it's important. Just a second. George, now. OK, OK. I'm sorry, Mum. Get hungry. <laughs> Don't touch me. Who are you? Don't upset yourself. Huh? Don't tell me what to do. And so, as he lies with us at peace, for one final time, we come together to mark the end of one life and the beginning of another. Oh, David! I loved this house. I've lived here all my life. to die here. I know, Mum. No. I'll put the kettle on. <laughs> Tell me how you got into this in the first place. You must come across some desperate people. What would your parents say if they knew? What would your wife say if she knew? I've always liked you, Grace. You always seem to understand me. Without the spoon, I mean, let's face it, none of this would be here, would it? I lecture to major corporations around mm. the world, but, but, but well, you, you know, you keep going mm -hmm. on about the spoon. I mean, aren't you interested in, in other things? Uh, you sure, know, absolutely. I'm a busy man. Of course, but without the spoon, there would uh, be no TV okay. shows. I think that went well.